Hey everyone, I have a pretty major announcement to make and you might want to be sitting down for this one. But first, I want to thank you for all the love and support you guys have shown this relatively small channel over the last couple of years. I spend a lot of time and effort into making these videos, and although I really am my own worst enemy when it comes to releasing them and often scrap them halfway through making them because I just don't think they're good enough, your comments, discussions, and support really do push me to keep going. All of you really are the reason this channel is what it is today and the reason I have continued, so thank you. It's been an absolute pleasure being here with all of you, and the community around my channel is without a doubt one of the best on YouTube. But with that said, it is with great sadness that I must announce that this will be my final video on the full self-driving beta. I'm sure you've noticed less and less videos being uploaded here recently, and many of you have hypothesized that the reason for it is because I try to prioritize quality over quantity, but the real reason is I think the competition has finally won. I used to think Tesla's approach using only cameras and neural networks could work to drive the car reasonably well, at least better than the average human, because that's kind of the closest thing to eyes and a brain, which is how we humans drive ourselves around. But after going deep in the self-driving car subreddit, where every single autopilot post is downvoted to oblivion, and then also looking at the autonomous vehicle leaderboards, it is now obvious to me that Tesla just doesn't have the capability needed to truly drive itself. The sad reality of it is, you just need more sensors. In fact, the more the better. If Tesla would just use the same hardware layout that any of the other leaders in the autonomous vehicle space like Cruise use, which is something like 21 radar modules, 5 spinny LiDAR boys, and 14 cameras, Maybe, just maybe, Autopilot could get to the point where it isn't rear-ending giant buses on a bright sunny day, but Tesla won't do that, because they are cheap. In fact, LiDAR is probably the most important sensor in all of this, because if it had that, maybe it could actually drive in the rain, and not just stop in the middle of the road and block traffic when a little adverse weather happens. I mean, just look at how well these Waymos are performing. That's what years of development and dedication with the right hardware can do, and Tesla should strive for this kind of performance. But they aren't, and are still pursuing their pipe dream of making cars drive the same way humans do. The only thing Tesla really has going for them at this point is that their cars aren't geofenced to specific areas and can drive anywhere, but because it's still in beta and human supervision is required, it's all entirely pointless, and none of this is useful at all. I mean, it's not like any of these other companies need supervision on the road. They would never do something crazy like run a red light, but the beta sure might, or else why would there be an NHTSA recall? So going forward, my videos are going to focus on the self-driving technologies that make sense and are scalable into the future, which of course are the ones that make super high definition maps of the areas that they drive down to the millimeter, pre-plan their routes, and then use LiDAR to make sure they're exactly where they're supposed to be. Because, of course, we all know that maps never change in the real world. And for those of you who have a disability where you can't drive yourself, you're just going to have to wait for one of these companies to make a map of the exact area you live and also everywhere you want to go. Which should happen any day now, surely. And as much as it pains me to make a video like this, I just don't see there being any hope of autopilot becoming better than it is right now, or anywhere close to the capability of the average human driver. Perhaps if there were some real world examples of the car driving through difficult roads, and maybe ones that would force it to get extremely close to other vehicles and handle many different kinds of interactions without using LiDAR, radar, or any of the other sensors, and having no disengagements for long periods of time, my mind would be changed. But I just don't think videos like that exist. Or even if there were any evidence of the beta getting better through time and software updates, that would also give me some hope, because at least then we could look towards the future for progress. But of course, as we all know, Autopilot is exactly the same as when it first released, and there has been no major improvements, and probably never will be. I really hope you figured it out by now. Happy April 1st to all of you, and hopefully this video at least put a smile on your face. I do have a feeling there's going to be a lot of people unsubscribing before they reach this point, but oh well, probably worth it. As much as I joked here, I really did have a full video through the narrow hills of Oakland and Berkeley half edited, but decided to scrap it when a new version came out yesterday because it's already outdated, so this is what you're getting instead. 
There were some really cool moments in there though, so if you're interested in seeing those with my commentary, be sure to get subscribed to AI Driver Clips where I'll be posting them. You can find that channel on my channel page. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you on my next Waymo video. Until next time, everyone. Bye.